This is Motor Merton Mission Control, initiating pre-flight check and requesting departure clearance. Jazzer 1, I'm sorry, sir, requesting a little bit. Five Golf Mike, uh, actually, I'm in now to descend to maintain 1-1000. Cleared for takeoff. Uh, Army 72010, descend to maintain 2000. I just ordered some food from the local uh, shawarma place and they told me it was going to take half an hour for my food to be ready so I thought I'd take some time out to cruise around my college campus and explore a little bit because I don't actually know the campus that well. All my classes are in the engineering building because I'm a computer science major and I don't have any prerequisites to take care of at all. So. I, my life exists entirely in this one building, or I shouldn't say prerequisites, I don't have any general ed classes to take care of, so my entire life is in the engineering building. And I never get out, I never really see the rest of campus, what's out there, what it's like. So, I mean, I've been around it before, but it's been a long time, so I'm just going to cruise around and enjoy the sights a little bit on a nice calm day when no one's around. School's out right now. We just had finals. Actually, today I started my summer internship. It was the first day. And actually, I think it would be a nice idea to vlog about it a little bit while it's still perfectly fresh in my mind. I actually just left less than an hour ago. So uh, I'm doing an internship. Uh, I won't say the company's name uh, primarily because... I don't know if they would like me to be talking about them openly on the internet about internal affairs. In fact, I'm sure they wouldn't like it at all. But uh, to give you some idea what the place is like, it's a, 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 a huge company. It uh, is in the, I'll just say it's in the medical industry. It has to do with uh, the medical industry. And my job as a software engineering intern there is not going to have anything to do with the medical uh, technology that they work with. I'm going to be doing tools for them. I'm going to be developing in-house tools for uh, other employees to use to help them make the products that the company is responsible for producing. Uh, so it's a being a fairly large company they have the ability to hire a lot of interns and uh, this summer they're hiring on 22 interns which is kind of a lot to be hiring all at once they're splitting it up into two hiring sessions one of them is for all the students who are coming in off of the semester system uh, like I am that's the first wave and then the second wave is going to be coming uh, when the quarter, the, the schools that are on the quarter system all let out, which will be in uh, two weeks, I guess. All the, the second wave of students will come in for their internships. So, today they hired on 12 interns. 12 new people came in today, and that's just a lot of people to be hiring all at once. Normally, HR, you know, one person comes in and they have to go through this whole big process of my signal is still on. Normally even when one single person comes on to the team they have to go through that whole process of paperwork, tax forms, uh, uh, employability verification like making sure you're a United States citizen or legal alien or whatever it is. And all this paperwork they gotta take your picture, issue, issue you a pass and activate it and set you up in their system for clocking in and out. All that crap so today they're doing it for 12 people in one day. And it, as you can imagine, it was rather a mess. And everybody went up and got their computers. And this is when the real adventure began because what they did was uh, they gave us all clean computers, fresh installs, like uh, they just put windows on these machines with nothing else on them. And what they also did was they decided that they were going to have us install all of our own software. HR or uh, IT wasn't going to install all the software for us. We were going to do it ourselves. But they didn't give us any administrator privileges. So, 
for the most part, we're all sitting there at our computers. Uh, well, actually, some of us didn't get into the building for... Uh, well, we got into the building, but some, some of us were stuck in the lobby for two hours waiting for supervisors to show up and let us in because we couldn't go in unless our sponsoring supervisor was there to let us in. So some of the interns were stuck in the lobby for two hours, which I'm sure was not their favorite thing in the world. Although they were getting paid for it, so maybe it was their favorite thing in the world. The rest of us sat at our computers for three hours because none of us could get admin privileges. Uh, pretty cool story, right? Bro. So... I think if I go that way, it just dumps me into the street, so I'll go this way instead. Uh, so we sat there for a while, we tried various different things, we downloaded all the software we were going to need, but we couldn't install any of it without admin privileges, so we sat there, sat there, sat there, drank coffee, shot the breeze. Uh, you know, a lot of us actually come from this school, a lot of us, uh, some of us actually have had classes together and things. So anyway, uh, just about when lunchtime was rolling around, one of the, the lab guys, the guys who works uh, in the testing lab for our, our well I'm, I'm going to reveal too much information about the company here one of the other guys at the company came over and uh, showed us how to elevate privileges on our machines so that we could install all the software we needed and then you know we could begin the three or four hour process of installing all these software suites and software development kits and tools and everything and setting ourselves up on the version control software and everything so by the end of the day we were able to be fully set up but it took us a full day to get there as opposed to taking half a day but tomorrow we should be up and running and off to the races so I mean yeah it was a pain in the butt kind of a day but at, on the bright side, everything did work out in the end. We all have our little name badges, our IDs, whatever, our tags, our privileges to enter the building and use all the software and everything, so... Uh, you know, I guess, considering it's a, a, such a large company, you kind of expect it to be a little bit unwieldy to hire people on, and especially in mass numbers like that, so it's not unexpected. Uh, actually, I guess I would go so far as to say it is exactly what I would expect, because that's just the nature of a, of a company that large. It's been interesting lately. Uh, we've been discussing in some of our computer science classes that uh, a, a huge amount of the processing power of a computer is devoted to the overhead of the operating system and just the, the basic function of the computer. Yeah, like ha up to half or, or even more of the processing, you know, the, the process cycles of a processor are spent just on keeping the system running, not even on uh, any of the programs that a user wants to use. Like if you're running Microsoft Office, you know, maybe the, the processor, 50% of its power, 50% of its capabilities are being used at all times just by windows to to manage the operating system and some other tiny fraction of it is allocated to actually operating microsoft word of course that situation might be a little bit different if you were working on some kind of processor intensive task like uh, video rendering or something like that and the reason for that is uh you know when uh, the the windows has to manage which processes, including Windows itself, are getting access to the CPU and the memory and the hard drive and managing the input and the output of all the different devices and everything. The processor has the pros the processor has to manage all of that in addition to running the actual programs that you want to run. So, I mean, it gets kind of hairy explaining all of it. I would need, like, concrete examples and stuff that I'm not going to be able to give you while riding a motorcycle very easily. But uh, suffice it to say, the, uh, the operating system is the majority of what a computer is doing at any given time, most of the time. And it was interesting thinking about that and relating it to uh, this kind of new job that I've taken on about how the majority of what a company does is, like, meetings and administrative crap 
and you know half or, or less of your time is actually spent doing the task that you were hired to do because you spend so long in meetings and dealing with paperwork and red tape and documentation and clocking in and out and making sure everything's squared away with all that crap so that was just a, an interesting little comparison I guess well it was interesting to me anyway so anyway it's on about time my uh, chicken shawarma laffa with french fries and amba sauce ought to be about done so I'm gonna head on over to the shawarma place pick up my delicious wraps and call it a night mmm parking lot Gymkhana do you wanna <laughs> <laughs>